Hi, welcome back to Linux. Today we're going to talk about why you may not want to upgrade to Linux Mint 21. I know the issues that exist for Linux Mint 21 are preventing me from upgrading. I'll show those to you today and you can make your own decision. So, five plus reasons to possibly avoid Mint 21. The first thing, you're going to lose some features. You're going to lose some features in the themes. You'll lose some features in settings. You'll see that window border options are gone. So as you go through the feature sets, it may be something that you know is going to really bother you. It might be something that doesn't bother you so much. But for me, it turned out to be a rather big issue, especially with the window borders. And I'll talk about that in just a moment. Next is on window behavior. You're starting to lose a couple of features there with uh, smart detection versus some other options. So we keep moving down. Tiling, you lose some features in tiling. Now, why would we lose these features? Is this a change in cinnamon, a change in gnome? I'm not sure, but here's what it looks like in Min Linux Mint 20.3. 20.3 has my standard green on black and Linux Mint 21.1 has its default view for everything except the prompt. And that is my custom prompt there, which I'm glad to give you at any time. So over here on 20.3, you may notice that there is a line. So you can see that there is a line between those terminals. So you've got a black terminal with green text and there is a visible line showing you which text belongs in which terminal. Well, as we move over, this becomes a shadow in Linux Mint 21. Okay, well, you can still tell because this is a medium gray background and you have a shadow that's a little darker there, so you can still tell where that might be. Well, if we switch over to a green on black window, it's very difficult to tell where one window stops and another begins. Now I just ran something really quickly here as an example just to give you something from the bottom so you can see there uh, how that just kind of blacks out. You can imagine that if those were overlapping it would look like in VI your text just continues down at the bottom somewhere. And over on the side you can imagine that as you run processes or as you're looking at something in a terminal that's going to become problematic. So this is something that I can't fix as I go through and try to change whatever the Mint 21.1, which is the Minty Aqua, and I switch it over to Minty, it still doesn't change the borders. So I cannot control the borders. There's nothing I can do about that. Another thing, you're going to lose some applications. So the applications you'll lose just a couple, right? In this case, some panorama um, stitching apps that you're just no longer going to have access to. And that's unfortunate because there are a lot of apps that you gain with Linux Mint 21.1. They might be libraries, but there are some apps that you do gain there, but you are going to have to lose some applications. And finally, applications sometimes appear in areas that I can't access. So uh, I have a dual monitor setup. One of my monitors is a 1920 by 1080 and the other is a 3840 by 2160. So it's a 4K and a 1K monitor. Well, with that setup, if I'm looking to start an application in, let's say the 4K monitor, and I click the application icon on my regular desktop, the 1K monitor, then things like calculator appear in black space. Now that's because this 1K monitor is down in the corner and then this area up here is simply black space. I can't get there so there's no way I can actually access that. And so then I have to go through and use a alt tab or I have to grab icons and shift them over while I'm looking at all desktop view, things of that sort. Very annoying. So I don't know why that is. That is a glitch and you know if other people have noticed that, please report that and, and that way, hopefully Linux Mint can can fix that in the future. But that is it. So with the, uh, the Linux Mint 20 to 21 upgrade, for me, it's not going to be that much of an upgrade. I cannot 
suffer the small inconveniences, which for me are too large, of upgrading to Linux Mint 21. Hopefully it works out for you, or hopefully you find you know another Linux distribution that really does work for you. In the meantime, I'm using Linux Mint 20.3 with an updated kernel, and you can update the kernel in your Linux Mint 20.3 all the way to the most current version. So it's not a problem right now and it will be supported probably for another few years. So you do have a few years to find another desktop operating system or for the Linux Mint team, which is a great team of developers. I've been so happy with them in the past. Uh, or wait for the Linux Mint team to fix these issues. 